Okay, let's see. I think we are all set. Okay, so this recipe is actually, can be found on Kia's Fit Fair. This is just a, let me think clear. This is a printout of the recipe from kiasfitfair.com. So you can actually go on there and pull this recipe up. And once you go there, although this is a picture of all the ingredients on the actual recipe, it has step-by-step -step pictures. It's very detailed. As you can see, all the ingredients are listed. The recipe is listed. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, probably one of my favorite things in the kitchen is a rice cooker. It makes my job a oh, hundred times easier. So the actually what I'm using today is jasmine rice for this recipe and the rice is already in there. I have two cups. There's six of us for dinner tonight. Two cups of jasmine rice. Now I'm going to add four cups of water. It's that simple guys. Seriously if you don't have a rice cooker you can save yourself so much time. I know rice cooker is awesome. It's, it's phenomenal. And look how easy this is. I put it in, hit cook. Now, I love cooking. I've been doing this for quite some time. However, rice is just not my thing. But when I put it in the rice cooker, guarantee success every single time. So let me give you an overview really quick what I have going on here. I have thin cut sirloin. It's a tips. I have some shredded carrots, some scallions. Again, the recipe, a large skillet. We have the rice going. And I already started with my sauce. So let me tell you what's inside this sauce. And this is going to be, this is basically what's going to go over the meat as it cooks. We have two tablespoons of breads, liquid aminos. We also have one tablespoon of natural peanut butter. Well, actually it's double. I doubled up on this recipe. So I have two pounds of meat. So everything that I'm seeing, I'm just gonna increase that. So I have two tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm using raw honey, just a little drop of hot sauce to give it an extra kick, some garlic powder, some olive oil. So as you can see, that's everything that's in here right now. I'm sorry, it's a little blurry. Let's make sure we can focus. Okay, so that's the beginning of the sauce. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, <laughs> if I can do it with one hand, I may need a little help. Hey guys, can I get someone to come over here and help me hold the camera? <laughs> my little guy, my Batman, where is he? Oh, I'm not. Actually tell Alan to come over. He asked me to help. Alan. So we're gonna go ahead and stir that sauce. Alan. Break down the peanut butter. You know, when you use that natural peanut butter, sometimes it gets, it can get really thick, but that's quite all right. Just a little bit of patience. Mix it in. So Alan, hold the camera for me, please. Try to hold it steady right here on my bow. Okay, right here, please. Don't move it. It has to be steady. Uh -oh. Okay, guys, I'm getting adjusted here. Okay, there we go. Alan, hold it. Okay. And so I'm going to add the remaining ingredients for this bow. See on the bow. So my little guy is holding it. I know, I, you know what, you're so right. I'm going to get a tripod for the iPhone. Usually we do videos for YouTube with the big camera, but I'm definitely going to invest in a tripod. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to add four tablespoons of, if I can sneak that in there, just rice vinegar. Okay guys, there we go. And I really hope that was four. <laughs> okay, let's see, after that, we are going to add, okay, steady, cornstarch. You guys see that? I use Bob Red Mill. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of that. Very simple. There we go. Fantastic. I just made a mess all over my hand, but that's okay. Okay, be still, buddy. Okay, after that, we're gonna add, oh, sorry. We are going to add pepper flakes. I'm just gonna add one teaspoon. You don't want too much. The thing here is in our family, everybody can pretty much handle spicy except for one little guy. And I have to make sure that I cater to him when I make these recipes, okay? So I'm just gonna mix that up really good. Like I said, this is just a simple, simple, simple sauce. The flour, the corn looks like, um, 
And the powdered donuts. <laughs> and so it definitely doesn't taste like it. So my little guy said that the cornstarch looks like the powdered sugar on donuts. I told him I definitely don't think it's going to taste like that. And hopefully he won't give it a try. Oh wow, 24? How lucky are you? That's phenomenal. You should have a lot of fun in the kitchen cooking with that. Congrats. Okay, guys, I think that's oh, good. Okay. Okay, I'm good for now, Ash Allen. Thank you, buddy. Okay, guys, let's... Oh, I know. That's going to be phenomenal to use. Like I said, lucky you. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do now is I have a skillet out, and I'm just going to... Add some oil, really simple, and we are going to buy a tablespoon. Well, actually, it's more like two, not too much. One tablespoon. Okay, so I'll add the oil. I'll go ahead and get that heated. Uh oh, there we go. <laughs> so, do you guys prefer the electric or the gas stove? I'm in Vegas, so we go. We have gas. It took a bit of adjustment when we first moved out here because we moved from the Midwest. We've been out here for quite some time now, but it was an adjustment. I'm used to it now. Love it. Okay, guys. So while that oil is heating up, let's see. There we go. See, the meat looks great, right? You know, you can cut it however you choose to. It's just thin slices. This is really great. This is going to be a fantastic dish over the rice. Um, it's really versatile. The family loves it. You know, my my kiddos, their ages range from 7 to um, 12. And, you know, they all like it. They do pretty good. And then my husband, he loves it as well. Okay, so while that's heating up, what we're going to do is start adding the meat, of course. And we're not going to cook this for very long, okay? We don't want to overcook it. And for now, we don't want to... Guys, I'm definitely going to invest in that um, tripod for sure. Just gonna pile that in there really, really good, okay? Spread it around. I'm on it tonight. I will definitely check that out. Thank you. Okay, that's looking really good. What do you guys think? Looks good. Fantastic. So, because it's so much, I may do it in just two batches. I don't want to overcrowd it too much, okay? Let's see. That's cooking really good. Guys, this recipe is so easy. I mean, you are going to absolutely love this. Like I said, if you don't want to follow me right now and, you know, go see me go through the steps and offer the little quick tips, just be sure to go over to the website, kiosfitfair.com. The recipe is there. It's detailed. Everything is listed. See? Right there. And, you know, this is my recipe, but, hey, I whip up so many different recipes and I'm creating recipes all the time. I have to go back and reference them as well. No shame there. What are you guys having for dinner tonight? Okay, we're going to continue to let that cook. It's doing good. That sauce is over there. It's already. Go back over to the sauce. Ooh, chicken and broccoli stir fry. That's a good one. Hmm, we may have to incorporate that this 
sometime this week. What do you think, Ashton? Chicken and broccoli stir fry? <laughs> um, sure. Sure. <laughs> well, what's stir fry? You know what stir fry is. Oh, I don't. Okay. But My I like guy. chicken and broccoli. You like chicken and broccoli? Okay. More, more like bro broccoli and beef. Okay, broccoli and beef. Beef. Okay, do me a favor. Okay, so the meat is cooking. So, let's see. Okay. We're definitely going to drain that. It looks like it has a tad bit more liquid than we want. We don't want all that liquid. I'm just going to get my drain out so I can do it right here. Just try to make it as easy as possible. Okay. Still looking good. I know we have to be patient here. I wish I could go forward and just be through the cooking process here, guys. But no magic here. So that's about halfway through. Not completely done. But what I want to do is go ahead and drain some of that that liquid off, okay? So I'm going to take that over here. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. And so I'm going to repeat. Uh, it's still a tad bit, a little bit of oil in there. So just a little bit more. Not much because the skillet is still pretty wet. Okay, so the remaining pieces, I am going to go ahead and put those pieces in it. Oh, I'm starting to believe I like it to be so much easier if I had that tripod. But hey, you learn. And you grow, so I'll be sure to invest in that really soon. I just saw my buddy join me, Ponytail Power. Hey, girl, how are you? <laughs> hey there, I'm so happy you joined me, buddy. Okay, okay, guys, I'm gonna let those last few pieces cook up. Sorry about all that shaking motion. Okay, so now that those last two pieces are cooking, this is much better. It doesn't have, it does not have as much liquid as those as the first batch, so that's fantastic. So what I'm gonna do next is once I remove the meat, the sirloin, what we're gonna do is add the minced garlic and the scallions and just cook them until fragrant. Very, very short time. Okay. And from there, we'll toss in those carrots. We'll toss in, what's that? We'll toss in the sauce. And then finally, we'll do the meat one last time. And remember what I said, the easiest, you guys are in the kitchen, that rice cooker is doing all the work for me. It's so fantastic. Okay, so this is looking really great. Oh, I'm going to love this recipe. It's so tasty. Okay, remember, you don't want it to be completely cooked all the way through because towards the end, once all the vegetables are, you know, sauteed in there, the fragrant, the, um, the sauce is added, we're going to actually add the meat back to it. Okay? So you don't want it to be completely cooked. It looks good. What do you guys think? Not bad? Yep. <laughs> Ashley said yes. <laughs> I think I think he's just ready to eat right now, honestly. Okay, so again, I'm just going to take this meat, place it over there, and let that drain off the bed. Have quite a bit of liquid going on there. 
Okay, so a few pieces left. I'm just going to take those out. See that? Okay. And so the meat looks really great, guys. Oh, there you go. Make sure it's draining out properly. Looks good. Okay. Okay, so the next thing, we're going to go ahead and add a half tablespoon of oil. So we're almost finished. About a half tablespoon. Go ahead and spread that out. Now, if you don't want to use the oil, go ahead and use, you know, the cooking spray. That's perfectly fine as well. So from here, I'm going to add some minced garlic. I don't want to burn this, so I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. Don't burn it. <laughs> don't burn it, Ashley said. See, it's getting hot. Ooh, that's hot. Mixed garlic is actually one of my favorite things to add in my dishes. I just think, I think it tastes, it really just makes it about anything so great. Here, let's pop in a scallion. Really simple. Really simple. And I'm going to grab a spoon right now. Let's see if I can grab this spoon. So you can do this for about one or two minutes. Like I said, just to make it fragrant. You can Get all those good smells right now. It smells really good, awesome. Bring that back a little bit. Still it's getting away from me. So while that's cooking, the next step, of course, would be to add those carrots. That's so lonely over there. We're gonna add those carrots. Trying to keep it as steady as possible, guys. You definitely want to get a tripod. Okay, you want to continue to stir. Okay. Okay. That's looking really good. So you want to put those carrots in. Let those cook about one to two minutes again. Just slightly tender. And as that is happening, it smells really awesome. By the time, you should be like super hungry. <laughs> I'm, this. I'm going to go ahead and add that sauce that we, you know, made not too long ago. Yeah. Okay, it smells fantastic. So we're going to go ahead. Get everything and mix in there good. And because I added the cornstarch to that sauce, as it cooks, this sauce will actually thicken. As you can see, it's already happening. Okay, can you see that? Okay. Yep, this one could definitely thicken up. Okay, now while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and toss the meat back in. Okay. What did I tell you? This recipe is so easy. Guess what? I mean, that's really it. Yeah, I'm going to let it cook for just a couple more minutes. I'm going to stir it up. Make sure that sauce is covered over the meat, you know, the carrots, and the, the jasmine rice should almost be finished. It takes about 20 minutes in the rice cooker, if that. I'm going to let it cook, and then I'll plate it, and we have a fantastic dinner. And that's it, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And what I'll do is, once the dish is finished, I'm going to plate it. And I'm going to put up a picture of the um, finished recipe, the finished dish, before we actually um, enjoy it. Thanks so much. And again, like I said, this recipe actually came from the website. And you can go pull it up for yourself. Enjoy, if you give it a try. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thanks so much for following. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them up before I log off.